Welcome to Learning Mole. This is lesson three in our Multiplication for Kids series and in this lesson we're going to focus on arrays. Now an array is um, again a, basically a visual way of representing multiplication and it's a really good way of again allowing your child to actually see what multiplication is and what it actually means. It's also a really good way of helping with that discussion and that vocabulary um, and starting to develop that vocabulary with multiplication. So I have laid out for you nice big circles um, with actually coasters from Ikea. So again, what I'm talking about is things lying around the house or things that be, can be found quite easily or cheaply. Um, I'm not about spending fortunes on resources. It's about really using stuff that you've got at home. And this is basically a little array. It's a visual representation of the calculation three times two. I've got three lots of two. We use circles, but you can use anything um, that has, I would use it, you could use any shape really. So we've got one group of two, two groups of two, three groups of two, three times two. The idea of array, an array and the reason why we use little spots is because it actually sets out really, really clearly and you can see that little group very, very clear, very, very clearly. So we would say, look, you've got three lots of two, you've got three groups of two, and again, all that nice vocabulary starting to come out. It's a really good idea to actually let your child have a wee play around with arrays. A bit like when we were talking about showing the repeated addition, you can actually get your child to focus on creating some of the arrays themselves. So on here, I have just got these little spotty stickers, which again, really easy to find and really cheap. And actually, it's a really nice activity to get your child to actually create some arrays or you create them with them to really give them that sense of multiplication and actually help them with that journey of starting to learn those times tables. Again, at this stage, they would be only looking probably in and around the twos, the fives, the tens, maybe the threes, but you wouldn't be wanting to go too advanced. So as you can see, this is a little array, the representation of four times three. I've got four lots of three and we set it out in a nice little rectangle. So my advice to be to you would be, is actually let your child have a go, set them a challenge. You give them a calculation, five times three, two times four, whatever you want. It doesn't really matter what the table is at this stage, even though they won't be learning those tables, it's just showing you that they understand what that means. It's not about calculating at this stage, it's showing you that they know what it means. This, the way to work this out, they can either count them, in ones, no problem at all. Or if your child is more advanced, do challenge them to count in steps of three so they can do three, six, nine, twelve. Or if you feel no, they just need to count in ones, that's fine. They can count in ones again to double check. So actually give your child a calculation, give them a little pack of stickers and actually get them to make you different sets of arrays to show that they really understand that idea of multiplication. And they have so much fun with these little stickers and getting them all arranged and patterns. I know my two um, boys, they, they're all about patterns and they love, they will sit and they get all different colors for their first group and then a different color for the second group. And it can actually be quite a little fun activity, but at the same time, they're getting that idea and that early concept of multiplication into their heads and actually solidifying that understanding.